talking about the Prisma flow diagram and using the <coughs> search um, that we did and plugging that into the Prisma. So this is the Prisma guide. Um, you can find it at apu.libguides.com slash Prisma. What you'll do is there's, I have a lot of information about the Prisma here, but to get to the step-by-step -step instructions, you'll click, click on step-by-step -step using Prisma 2020. There are two templates that I have on here. The first template is if you're just doing a database and register search, um, and so and you're not getting articles from anywhere else, then you would use this one and you can download it by clicking on um, the download, this link right here to download it. Um, the other one is the Prisma um, search in databases, registers, and other sources. So other sources might be websites, organizations, citation searching, which means looking at the reference list and getting articles that way, snowballing, um, getting articles from colleagues and professors, um, any other way that you get articles um, besides through that a specific database search, you would record over here. Registers are like clinicaltrials.gov or Cochrane Trials. If you do get any articles from those sites, you would put that number here. If you don't include those, you can go ahead and delete that off. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and download a copy of the Prisma. So as I mentioned, um, I'm not going to be using registers for my search, so I'm going to just take this off for now. Um, regarding um, the databases, so um, when we use the, that, we'll use the number. Um, I want to use um, the second search that I did where I in excluded some items. So um, we have a total of 336. So I'll go ahead and put that right here, n equals 336, okay? And then duplicates, so this is duplicates that were found within the database, and that was 96. So I'll go ahead and put that right here. Mark, mark, records marked as ineligible by automation tools. We don't really have these, so you could take this off. I mentioned in the previous video about retracted items. If you do end up with any articles that are retracted, you could put that in this case. Okay, um, otherwise just delete that. <clears throat> so records screened then would be um, which you're going to screen would be 240. Okay, so then you'll go through your articles and you'll um, you'll do a title abstract screening of the articles. Um, what I would recommend is that you use Zotero and you create folders in Zotero and move the folders over there um, when you um, do your screening. So as an example, um, title abstract screening is the first screening that you do. So you'll go ahead and anything that you wanna include, you'll put in this folder. Anything that you exclude, you'll put in this folder, okay? And um, in this case, I'll just go ahead and create some sub collections here and so then I'll go through these articles and if I want to exclude something or include it I'll go ahead and add it to so maybe I don't want this one um, since it's in Ghana and I want to focus on the U.S. Um, this one here uh, looks pretty good. Um, looking at the information that's provided. 
um, abstract was pretty short, but I'll go ahead and include it for now. Um, this one right here is in Jordan. I'm going to go ahead and exclude that because I don't want articles from other countries. Um, this one right here, I'll go through and look at, the, you know, the abstract again, uh, as well as any of the subject terms. And if it looks okay, I'll go ahead and put that in the include folder. And so it's an easy uh, way to go through um, by putting using um, the folders in um, Zotero. Um, this one I'm going to exclude. It's in Saudi Arabia. And um, once you go through these 221 results, um, the number that you put in the exclude folder, you'll go ahead and put that on your Prisma here of records excluded. Okay, whatever you put in the include folder, you're going to put down here under report sought for retrieval. Um, the next thing is those that you put in that include folder, you're going to go ahead and request the full text. Any articles that you can't get the full text of, um, you're going to put it in this reports not retrieved. Now, I talked about getting the full text in um, a previous video. And you will have to, for that, for this case, be sure that you do request it from Interlibrary Loan if you can. If you can't get it, even if you've requested it from Interlibrary Loan, then you would put it in that exclude folder. So going back to Zotero, what I would recommend is creating some more sub collections here. And And then I will, and I'm going to put it in that include folder, and then I'll, I'll call this one um, I'll call it full text retrieved. And then I will also add another one and say full text not retrieved. Okay. And so then I'll go through all of these articles that I put in the include folder. I'll move the ones um, that I could get into the retrieve folder and the ones that I can't get into the not retrieve folder. So going back to your Prisma, then you'll put any articles that you can't get in the not this N equals that total number here. And the ones that you can get, you're going to put down here under reports access for eligibility. Now, um, since you have the full text of the articles, you're going to go ahead and apply your inclusion and exclusion criteria. So um, going back to Zotero, under the full text retrieved, I'm going to go ahead and add another sub collection to this one. And I'll call this one full text include. And then I'm going to add another one and then full text exclude, okay? Um, for the full text exclude, what I might recommend is that you also create um, subfolders within this and say why you're excluding it. So maybe it's the wrong population. So after you get into the, the article, you see that it's the wrong population. So you're gonna go ahead and put it in there. Okay, or um, another um, ex ex way to exclude might be wrong intervention. Okay, um, other examples of excluding might be a wrong. Uh, let, up, let, up, let me look at our question here. Uh, maybe it's the wrong disease. Maybe it's not talking about necessarily um, cancer, okay? Um, another example might be, um, well, that might go under, so um, those are just three examples of where you would move articles then from the full text retrieved when you apply your inclusion and exclusion criteria.
So then you'll get the total number of articles that you put in wrong disease, and then you'll go back to your um, you'll go to your Prisma here and you'll add, um, put that total number of articles that you put in that folder. And this one too. And this one right here, I'll go ahead and call this one What did I say it was? wrong population. Um, the other case you might, maybe you just need like quantitative or qualitative articles and it's a wrong type of article. So you can also add that um, as a exclusion. Okay, so as many as you need, you'll add those. And then you can add, it says, etc. here. I'll remove that. And then I put in that number here. What I would recommend is I recommend that you total this up and say, and then you put the total number that you have put in here in these folders or on, um, so what you put in these folders on Zotero, um, you would total that up and then add, add that up and put it at the top here, okay? So then your next step in the Prisma is to take this number that you put in um, this full, um, in this box minus the total number in this box. And then you'll put that into studies included in review and equals and then into studies included in review. And then you're gonna do the right hand side here. Um, so websites, this includes Google Scholar. Now you wouldn't put the full search of Google Scholar, you just put select articles. As an example, maybe I have five articles from websites. Um, I didn't have any organization, so I'm going to remove that. Citation searching, um, maybe I found 10 articles that way. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add, and I can add, maybe I I got two articles that way. Um, and then another one might be snowballing. Uh, and maybe I found... Um, five articles that way. Okay, so then I'll total this number up. And so this is uh, 22. So I, I'll put in 22 here. And then I'll go ahead and retrieve these articles. Anything that I can't get, I'm going to put into read reports, not treat, retrieve. So maybe I couldn't get um, seven of these. So I'll go ahead and put seven there, which leaves me with 15. Um, that I'll go ahead and assess the full text for. Okay, now I'm going to apply the same inclusion and exclusion criteria. Okay, so maybe I get into it and I find, oh, this is the wrong population. Okay, or I get into it and I see, oh, it's the wrong type of study. Or study or article. Okay. You should use the same um, terminology for both sides, but then everything else is fine. So there, the other ones are about that disease and about the intervention. So looking at these 15, maybe there were um, five that were wrong population and five that ended up being wrong type of article. So then the total number excluded would be 10 on this side. So 15 minus 10 then is five. So then I would add that five to whatever I have on this side on this top box here, okay? Uh, reports of included studies. Now, this is um, a case in which 
um, there might have been a study done on um, a population three months from um, and then uh, two years later. Okay, so it's studying the same population. It's the same author team, etc. Um, and so that would be that would mean there would be two reports and one study. If you don't have anything like that, you could just go ahead and remove that and just report back studies included in review. Once you finish um, the Prisma, what I would recommend is instead of trying to get this into your Word, um, you know, into a, your Google Doc or your Word document and then the boxes all messing up and things like that, what I would recommend is just take a screenshot of this. So uh, go to your screenshot tool, take a screenshot, save it as an image, and then you can import it into your um, your document then. Okay, make sure you, when you do the screenshot, make sure that you are, um, include this information as well because it is part of the Prisma diagram. Okay, so going back to our step-by-step -step instructions here, if you go down here, I have the step-by-step -step instructions for the Prisma listed and, um, if you need to walk through that, um, you can using what I just explained in the video. Please let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to hearing from you.